My main research focus has primarily been genome technology, developing technologies to enable new measurements. I'm Jeremy Edwards, and I'm in the, the chemistry department at UNM. I learned very early in my career that technology can really drive science, so I decided that that's what I wanted to really focus my career on. Originally, it was all focused on developing technology to sequence the human genome. When I started working in the area, it cost about $1 billion to sequence the human genome. And um, the goal was to develop technologies that would enable genome sequencing to be part of routine medical treatments. I was funded by that program for the majority of my career. And the technology has evolved faster than I think anybody would have expected. Simultaneously, the analysis was more difficult than, than people had anticipated. Our complete understanding shifted. Most people had thought the majority of the variation that causes differences from you and me and everybody else are single base differences at specific locations. It turns out, yes, there are a lot of those, but there's a tremendous amount of variation across the population that is larger. Not just single bases, regions that are inserted and deleted, uh, rearranged, and I think people were very surprised by that. At a university lab, what we can do is innovate, develop new technologies. However, commercially, these need to be taken to the next level, and com competing with the commercial efforts at an academic institution is difficult. So what I have always done is once the technologies are developed and, and moving into industry, it's best to shift directions to develop your technology to address new problems. The state-of-the-art commercial instruments have very short reads. However, that limits one's ability to interpret the data and being able to make longer reads is extremely valuable. The other main technology that we're extremely interested in right now is the changes in the genome across the tissue. Doing this in tumors as well, where there could be lots of other changes happening in the genome. And so these are kind of the generic types of questions that would be enabled with our technologies. I think there will be many more applications in the areas of cancer biology. At the genetic level, each tumor is probably unique. And understanding that to dictate treatments will have a big impact on uh, society. I've always um, been faced with this problem that many people don't ever encounter in their career, which is working on a problem that becomes solved. And that's why we've always tried to keep our research at the university one step ahead in terms of what the future needs will be by industry. So that way we can develop these technologies, have them picked up in industry in some way, and then move on to the next question.